Oh, this week's Cedros, Cedros Ray. Guard warned against giving intentionally poor advice to the unsuspecting. A person can't advance on their own. It takes a community of fr family, friends, and neighbors to succeed at your goals. When that community offers incorrect advice, it makes it impossible for a person to improve on themselves or their situation. While giving bad advice is bad in all areas, leading someone aside in their efforts to observe Torah and mitzvot is especially nefarious. This week's Torah portion discusses the case of a false prophet. The charlatan presents themselves as a genuine messenger of God, but is really conspiring to move the Jewish people away from God. Moshe warns the people, if there appears among you a prophet or a dream divider and he gives you a sign saying, let us follow and worship another God whom you have not experienced, even if the sign that he named to you comes true, do not heed the words of that prophet or that dream divider. For the Lord your God is testing you to see whether you really love your God with all your heart and soul. After warning the Jewish people about false prophets and the command to ignore them, Moshe charges the Jewish people, follow none but the Lord your God and revere him. Observe his commandments alone and heed only his orders. Worship none but him and cling to him. This Pasuk is curious for it lists six different instructions what the Jewish people should do. Follow Hashem, revere God, observe the mitzvot, heed God's mitzvot, worship God and cling to God. What do these six commands mean? In his commentary to this Pasuk, Ibn Ezra explained all six instructions. Follow the Lord your God means you shall do the utmost to imitate God's deeds and pursue his paths. Revere God means you shall refrain from asking why about the mitzvot. Observe his commandments means they are the primary value. Heed only his orders. Take the real prophet's warnings about the commands as important. You shall worship him means indeed, and cling to God means from your heart from the start until the end of his life. Ibn Ezra's explanation divides the six instructions into three categories. These are about serving God and are staying away from sin, following the mitzvot and connecting to God. The first category, which includes the first two instructions to follow and revere God is a charge to avoid sin. The second category, which includes the instruction to observe God's commands and to heed God's orders is about following the mitzvot. And the third category, which includes worshiping God and clinging to God is about connecting to God. The three categories, staying away from sin, following the mitzvot and connecting to God are the primary categories of serving God. While some might think that serving God is simply about studying a list of mitzvot and observing them, the truth is serving God is more about a complete lifestyle dedicated to improving oneself more than just following a list of rules. The greatest method of improving oneself comprehensively is by forming a relationship with God. It's God who created us and did so to provide the opportunity for each and what every one of us to improve ourselves, to become the very best person we can be, even better than we imagine ourselves capable of being. These three categories with the six instructions of our Pasuk is the method to achieving that dream. What an important message for us to take from this week's Sedra. Shabbat Shalom.